true partners with our customers and uh, we've been honored by some of our top customers, uh, Tyson, Coca-Cola, PepsiCo, uh, just a few small companies out there that, uh, you know, hey, even though we're uh, a little trucking company in Akron, Iowa. Back again, guys. What's going on? Lockout Man right here. Back again with another company spotlight. Yes, this is still the MTC. But going into the new year, 2020, we're changing it up for you guys. Company spotlights. This is where you guys give me the request to make a phone call to these companies to see what they got for you. If they got any type of any type of information that I could get for you that you like, that's what I do. That's what I do. Thank you. I am Lockout Man, and this is the Lockout Man Podcast Show. If you like content like this and more, don't forget to do everything that you're supposed to be doing anyway. Like, share, all that good stuff. All right. If this is if this information right here for you is valuable, please share it and like it. All right. So today's episode, we're going to be spotlighting. Who are we going to be spotlighting today? We're going to be spotlighting Hale out of Iowa. Uh, let me see. I want to say uh, Akron, Iowa. It's a, it's a family-owned company. They've been in business for uh, since 1949. Oh, a long time. Longevity. Let's go to the bit board to see what this company has to offer so at the bit board the website is hail.net h-e-h-e-y-l dot net uh you can see about the history of the service mission statements uh their equipments locations uh the careers company drivers let's see what they got for company drivers company drivers uh Hail Truck Line is a driven, is a driver-friendly company specializing in refrigerated freight and dry cargo in the North America. We believe that you, the professional driver, are the most important asset we have in providing an exemplary service to our customers. The, a company can have a company can have the newest and best equipment and the most up-to-date communications, but without the right driver, it will be a poor investment. Well, I uh, totally agree about that. Let's see. Let's um, let's go to the history of the company. Uh, let's see. Family-owned National Freight since our founding, since founding in 1949, Hale Truck Lines has grown to become one of the most respected freight lines in North America by prop, by providing prompt, courteous service. Uh, let's let's see. They got an all new pay package, which is 50 cent, uh, based on uh, two years verifiable experience before that she said it was uh it was a base rate no matter what the experience is they are an award reigning carrier um let's see on time deliveries hail driver's lounge family difference so yeah all right so let's flip the script and Let's see about the Facebook page, which is right here. Hail Truck Lines. You can uh, check out their Facebook page right here. Um, it said it has grown to be one of the most respectful out of Iowa, yada, 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 yada. So check them out on their Facebook page. And the all-important Hail Indeed reviews. They got about 52 reviews. This one which is on the first page of Google when I when I looked up the reviews. And this one is from a driver that says, I would not recommend this company to anyone. Liars. Pay is terrible. Driver manager management lies a lot. Most of the trucks are KWs. They are worthless. My KW was down a lot. 
of uh, most of the time. Schedule was always screwed up. They promised and never delivered. Think long and hard when you think about uh, a job at hell. Now, mind you guys, these are these are drivers that's you know they probably left the company for whatever reason, but still, this is part of the research. Um, this one right here says, "Run goods." I mean, runs goods, lots of miles. Pros is good pay. Cons is little support. Health insurance for a little company. He said, "Work is good. They will support you." But this one right here says, "Family-driven company, not true." And this is from a office assistant. Let's see what they got about drivers. Five reviews. Here we go. Let's see what the drivers. We got to see what the drivers say about the company. Uh, low stress workplace. Huh. Uh, five dispatcher was off. I mean, was awesome and respectable. Great company to work for. And truck driver. And of course, to see the rest of the rest of the reviews, you got to write a review. So, uh, 3.7 stars or or 3.7 and it's a four star rating uh we we just pretty much care about what the driver the truck driver oh wait truck driver here we go here we go all right i could be wrong here we go um all right here we go here's one poor management i would not recommend this oh okay well i read that one uh home time every day but the pay consumption is low hail truck company is a real good job for short otr runs company lacks communication and professionalism it, it, it's a mix hail they're they're located let's go back they again they're located out of iowa akron iowa and for you florida drivers they have uh they have a terminal in Zephyrus, Zephyr Hills, Florida. So if you're out of Florida and you're looking for a company to drive for, hell, just might be that company for you. All right. On that note, let's get into the call. Hi yo. Hi yo. How you doing? Good. How are you? I am fine, thank you. It is this yeah. a recruiter? I'm I'm looking to talk to a recruiter. Yes, I'm a recruiter. Oh, okay. Talk to me. Oh, okay. Awesome. Awesome. How you doing? My name's uh Shine and I'm a five year truck driver and I'm just calling to see with uh Hale Hale <laughs> got the offer for me. Uh is it all right? Yeah. Did I ask you ask you a few questions about the company to get a background of it? Absolutely. Awesome, awesome. Thank you, thank you. Um can you, yeah. uh, can you, and I've seen your trucks uh, every now and mm -hmm. then, but can you can you give me a, be, a brief background of the company? Um, yeah, so we are a refrigerated carrier. Um, we run the lower 48 as well as up in Canada. Mm -hmm. um, we are based out of Iowa, and then we have a terminal down in Texas. We have one in Florida. Um, we have one up in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, and then we also have one up in um, near Calgary, Alberta. Um, okay. yeah, so we, we run the lower 48, like I said, most frequent lanes for us are between Florida, Texas, and the Midwest. Um, we do run some up to the Northwest and the Northeast, but we don't go into New York city at all. Okay. Okay. So I'm out of, I'm out of Ohio. So of course, if I, you know, put in the application and get approved and all that good stuff, <laughs> uh, being that I'm out of Ohio, where would I go to? Uh, go for orientation and how would you guys get me there um so that's going to depend on where we have an open truck right now i'm assuming we would bring you um either over here to iowa or you could potentially go down to florida as well okay um okay. with you being in ohio we would arrange transportation to get you to the terminal mm -hmm. um typically it's going to be i mean you're kind of far away for like a rental car or something. We might try to find like a, a flight for you. Um, you know, if there's a bus or something, we'll try to try to figure that out. 
Um, uh, but then, yeah, wherever you, you, you go to orientation, you, I, I don't, <clears throat> I don't, I don't mind driving. <laughs> okay. I, okay. I, I, I don't, I don't mind driving because getting okay. on, a, getting awesome. on a great, getting on a Greyhound is kind of like out of the question. <laughs> but, okay. Sounds good. But yeah, I, um, I don't, I don't, yeah. I don't mind driving. What, what might, what might I have to, what might I have to bring? What, you know, my my normal stuff like my DLT card, my, uh, of course, my license. I'm going to have that on me at all times. But is there anything else I need to bring with me when when I come to orientation? To orientation? Yes. Um, I honestly don't do any of like the scheduling and the planning, so I don't know everything off the top of my head. Oh, okay. Um, Typically, they're going to put, they'll put um, in an email that you'd get anything that you would need in the truck with you. Paperwork-wise, just like your physical, um, your license, if you have like a Twit card or anything. Okay. All right. Awesome. Awesome. So uh, for pre-employment screening, would that be done before mm-hmm. I get there or during orientation? Um, We might get you... Um, scheduled for like a drug screen and everything before you head down to the terminal just to make the process go a little bit quicker. Okay. Um, but it'll ultimately, you know, all depend. Um, but yeah, if there's a clinic near you or something, then we might, you know, take care of that before we get you down there. All right. So what, um, so what might my starting pay be? I'm a five year driver. Um, so we would have to get you on our over the road fleet out of Ohio. Um, that one, as long as we can verify two years out of the last three as being 53 foot tractor trailer experience, we could start you out at 50 cents per mile. You do get your first penny raise on your six month anniversary and then another at your one year and your two year anniversaries. Um, and then if you hit 10,000 miles for the month, you automatically get an extra penny on all of your miles. And then that qualifies you for a safety and performance bonus. So as long as you don't have any service failures, no accidents, late deliveries, things like that, then you are quali- qualified for another two pennies on every mile driven that month. Okay, okay. So I'm looking at I'm looking on your website right now. So is that's uh, mm-hmm. is that what you mean? Is that what you guys mean by um, uh, the new pay uh, the new pay packages? Yep, we just increased our pay package, so we're paying based on experience now. Okay, okay, okay. How how was you guys paying beforehand, if I may be nosy? How are we what? How was you guys paying beforehand? Um, Beforehand, it was just a total base rate, no matter what your experience level was. Oh, um, okay. And then that pay rate now is what... Our drivers would start out at if you have under two years of verifiable experience. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But as course, uh, of course, I got five. <laughs> I got five. Do right, you guys? Yeah. So do you? you would- do you guys have some? Do you guys, um, like some companies I talked to before, they they say if you have more than like two or three jobs in a year, they they would disqualify you for that. Do you guys? Uh, do the same thing as far as looking, you know, looking back at the uh, background for the, you know, how long they've been working at a company or how many companies that they work for? Sure. Um, So we don't like to see any more than three jobs in the past year. Um, And then that's including us. So we kind of count, you know, if it's three plus us, then that would technically be four. Mm -hmm. Um, And then we don't like to see any more than six in the last three years. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Now let me ask you this: uh, Can you tell me? Because I, I try, I, I called a company beforehand and I asked the same questions mm-hmm. that I'm asking you. Can you tell me why you guys do that? As far as uh, seeing that a driver has more than six jobs, because you know, like us truck drivers, we we get into situations like. You know, so sure. far, you know, so far my situations with the companies that I've been with and I only been with, you know, like in my five years, I, I only been with three. And that's and that's mm-hmm. in my five in my five year period. But sure. but for other drivers that that I network with, some of them, mm-hmm. you know, like bounce from job because of because of what they was offered in the beginning. But it wasn't what it was when they got there and they decide to quit 
You know what I'm saying? Sure. So, yep. so why, do, why do you guys look as, you know, uh, look at that, uh, you know, no more than sits in, in a three-year period? Um, we just like to see some longevity with a company. Um, a big thing for us is, you know, if we see job hopping, we want to be able to retain them. And so we are honest with everybody right from the start. Um, but, you know, that doesn't always help fix things for some drivers. Mm -hmm. um, so the big thing for us is we're just trying to find, you know, drivers who have some proven longevity um, with a company and can get a good reference from them. Um, but that's just one of our big things. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Thank you for that. Um, yeah. You you guys uh, you guys are ten or uh, not ten ninety nine, but you guys are W two. Yep. Yes. Uh, what what are what what are other things that's paid to the driver as far as uh, breakdown breakdown layovers? Uh, sure. Um. So detention pay is twelve dollars per hour. Um, that kicks in after the second hour, and it maxes out at eight hours per day. Mm -hmm. Layover is ninety-six dollars per day, and that is um, that kicks in upon twenty-four hours of continuous sitting while on the road, not under dispatch. Mm -hmm. We do pay additional invoice stops, so any additional stop, um, whether it's a pickup or a delivery, that is not the original mm -hmm. first. Um, you get $15 for the first, $30 for the second, $45 for all others. Um, we are a 100% no-touch freight company, so we do pay for lumper services. Um, and then we do have a referral bonus program. So if you refer a driver, um, we do pay out a bonus upon their first dispatch. And then you do get an extra penny um, in your pay for all miles that your referral drives in their first year. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So if a person and I'm 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 good with getting people on. <laughs> so yeah. if I was to if if I was to say get like three drivers on and they stay, mm -hmm. I get a penny mm -hmm. for each of those drivers miles that they drive. Yeah, so if you refer three drivers, um, our referral bonus is $250. So you get $250 for each of those drivers okay. once they get hired and they're dispatched with us. Um, and then for every mile that they drive in their first year, um, whether they're here with us for three months or the entire 12 months, you get an extra penny on every mile that they drive. How is so that, essentially, how is that paid out? It's paid out monthly. Okay. Wow. So it goes month month by month. So now, now as far as you guys referral uh referral program, I mean that's mm -hmm. that's about the best that I have heard thus far. I mean, well, you know good. some keep some companies uh referral programs, you know, they they give you like a thousand or something like that, but it's paid out in increments and stuff like that. But sure. but for that first year you know, mm -hmm. I bring in like three, four guys or something like that, and I get for every mile that they all drive, I get a penny for all of that. That's that's yeah. wow. That's that's mind blowing yep. right there. Okay, do you guys offer? Uh, do you guys offer ten ninety nine lease purchase? We do not. Um, we don't have a lease purchase program. However, if you have a truck or you buy a truck and you want to bring it on board with us, we do hire owner operators. Oh, okay, 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 okay. All right. So now you you just mentioned earlier about one hundred percent no touch freight, but what's the mm -hmm. what's the percentage of dropping hooks and live loads there? Um, yeah, on your... our over the road fleet, mm -hmm. sure. On our over the road fleet, it's going to be about fifty fifty. Um, You'll see probably equal amounts of drop and hook and live unload. Okay, okay. And what about the miles? Like, I know you guys can't, some companies that I talk to, you know, they, they try to be like, well, we can guarantee you 3,000 miles a week. And I know that, and, and I know that you're a recruiter, so you pretty much don't know the, you know, the dispatch side of things, but. To your recollection, what 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 type of what what average miles that I that me personally will be averaging a month? Sure. Um, 
Sure. Um, it's tough to say. Um, I, I can tell you that our drivers right now on our over-the-road fleet are averaging like 25 to 2,800 miles per week. Mm-hmm. Um, there are some who are seeing upwards of 3,000, um, but ultimately it just depends on how hard you want to run and how long you're out. Um, what part of Ohio are you from? Cleveland. Okay. So out of Cleveland, uh, we would, like I said, put you on our over the road fleet. That one's going to keep you out about three to four weeks or so at a time. Okay. So you guys don't have, well, let's put it like this. You, you guys have regional, but you don't have regional mm-hmm. for, for my area pretty much. Correct. So okay. we have a Midwest regional, a Texas regional, and then like a Southeast regional fleet. Ooh. Our Midwest is like Iowa and the surrounding states. So, oh, yeah, so just, that just so I won't that. so I won't be considered uh, being that I'm in Ohio because a lot of companies do consider Ohio as a you know part of the Midwest. But for you guys, yep. since I'm out of Ohio, I won't be considered the Midwest region. Yep, our Midwest region, it cuts off, like, right on the Illinois-Indiana border. Oh, um, we okay. do have, like, a bunch of work that takes place out of Indiana, mm-hmm. um, but it's not so much, like, our regional freight. Okay. Um, now, home time, you know, which is important to mm-hmm. me, um, and I, I guess I will be able to take my home time just about anywhere I want, but when I do go home, uh, back up to Ohio, mm-hmm. number one, uh, would it be like a full uh, couple of days off or a 34-hour reset? And I guess I'm talking, well, you know what? It will probably be different than, uh, it will probably be different because I'm, I'll, I'll be considered an over-the-road driver, right? Like a regional driver, he will be home every week and, you know, get his couple of days off. So sure. if I go home after the after the third week, you say, how many? How long can I stay home, and when when am I expected to come back? Um. So you'll get one to two days home for every seven days that you're on the road. Okay. All right. Cool. So awesome. if you're out for if you're out for three weeks, you know you could see three, four. I would say probably four days ish would be average. Um. And then once you hit that like four week mark, there you're probably seeing you know more like five or six possibly okay okay awesome all right what about um what about what about the truck would i be able to take the truck home we would require that you find safe parking for the truck okay that shouldn't be that Um, that, that shouldn't be a problem sure good good deal all right cool awesome um all right, so speaking of trucks, what 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 equipment that you guys have in the fleet? Or let me um, let me so narrow let me narrow it down. What truck okay. what truck will I be getting into? Um, I can't tell you what truck you'll be getting into. It's honestly just gonna depend on what's available at the time of your hire. Mm-hmm. Um but we do have Kenworth, Freightliners, Internationals, and Volvos. All trucks are on a four year trade cycle, so they are like they are late model. Um, right now, we are just getting rid of the last of our 2016. So um, most trucks are going to be 2017 or newer. Um, they all come equipped with APUs and inverters. We do not provide microwaves, refrigerators, anything like that. But if you have appliances that you want in your truck, um, our shop will install all of that for you. And then all of our trucks are automatics as well. All right, so bare bones, automatics, driver cams in the truck? Yep, we do have inward and outward um, facing cameras. They are not on 24-7, so we actually use a third-party company. Um, they're called Smart Drive. What happens is the cameras pop on um, in the event of, you know, like, um, you know, if you brake hard or if you hit a super big pothole or, there is a panic button in there, so if you want something to be on camera, kind of to save yourself, um, then you can flip that on. But no videos reach us, like our company. Um, they actually are all reviewed by Smart Drive, and if it's not something that we need to see, then we don't see it. Because once in a while, those cameras, like I said, if you do hit a pothole, they trigger on um, 
And then Smart Drive, that video will go to Smart Drive, and that's probably not something that our safety department needs to see, so we don't even see it. Okay. All right. What about uh, what about the computers for the truck as far as getting our dispatches and stuff like that? Um, so our drivers use uh, Blue Tree for electronic logs, and then they do get, like, all of their messages and everything through that, too. Oh, okay. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Uh so what about uh what, what do you would you by chance know about the fleet manager to driver ratio there? Like if I need to get a hold of my driver, I don't have, I mean driver. If I need to get a hold of my manager for whatever reason, I, I I won't be left out in the cold trying to get a hold of him, would I? Oh no. Um, you know, I'm looking at I don't know off the top of my top of my head how many driver managers we have. I would say we probably have 10 or 12. Um, we actually just started hiring more because our fleet is starting to expand. Mm -hmm. um, but no, there's not going to be any prob problem getting in touch with anybody. Um, I would say each driver manager probably has roughly like 30 to 40 drivers underneath of them. Okay. Um, but there's somebody always available. And then at night, we do have night dispatchers who come in. So someone's in the office overnight, too. Okay. All right. Cool. What about, uh, what, what's your policy? Well, I got a few. I just have a few more questions. Uh, one of which mm -hmm. is driver and pet policy. Do you guys offer that? Yep. So we do have a pet policy. It's a $250 damage deposit that's due before the dog can come on. And then we do limit it to one small or medium-sized dog, and they do need to be up-to-date on their vaccination. Oh, okay, okay. What about rider policy? Yep. Our passenger policy is $240 per year to cover the cost of insurance. Um, the only thing we ask is that there are no minors in the truck. Okay. Now, I, like I said, I, I, I network with a, with a lot of drivers. You know, I, I run a Facebook sure. group. And, you know, the information that you're giving me as well, I, I'm going to take back with me and, you know, leave it in a, you know, leave it in a group just to let them know that I talked to you and, you know, give them an idea of whether if this is a good company, good fit. Because so far, uh -huh. so far, so good. I mean, you know, awesome. this, you know, I, I got this on on top of my list so far. But um, I'm curious. Sure. I'm, I'm, I'm curious to know, like, if I. OK, so let's say. Like some companies have like dedicated, uh, like dedicated lanes or dedicated routes, like a Dollar mm -hmm. General or a Family Dollar or something like that. Do you guys run those type of accounts? And if you do, if I do decide to bring, uh, you know, a family member or a friend, would they be able to help me out as far as unloading the truck? Unloading the truck? Yeah. Because no, dollar, we do. yeah, Dollar General, Dollar General, and and Family Dollar is driver unload. Sure, yeah. So we mostly deal with shippers and receivers. Um, it's not going to be a whole lot of like unloading out of store facility. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Yeah. So I mean, a lot of it, like. Um, our over-the-road fleet, like I said, you're going to see all sorts of customers. A lot of them are going to be Tropicana, Coca-Cola, oh, okay. uh, Del Monte. You could see meat loads, like I said, Tyson, Smithfield, Seaboard, Lamb Weston. Um, those are all big ones. But, yeah, it's, you're not going to have to unload any freight no matter what. Awesome. That's what's up. I, yeah, I don't want to unload nothing. <laughs> uh, sure, sure. Force, force dispatch. If I don't want to yes. go up in the Northeast, I have to go up in the Northeast. Um, yeah, it's more of what we say is that pickups and deliveries can be at any time. We just ask that you don't refuse any loads. Um, and so, yeah, we do consider ourselves forced dispatch. Um, when you go through orientation, um, you know, you'll kind of talk to our safety guy and see your driver manager and, you know, if you don't want to go up to the Northeast all the time, you don't have to. Um, I can't say it's never going to happen, but I do know that we don't go into New York City at all. Um, we really don't go much further than, like, Philadelphia, um, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. The Northeast is not, not a big priority of ours. 
Gotcha, gotcha. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. Uh, it sounds as though everything everything that you're telling me sounds pretty good. Uh, what's, you. what's your company's turnover rate? Well, I don't know off the top of my head. I'm not sure. <laughs> That's understandable. That's understandable. Well, hey, listen, thank you very much. I would definitely no take problem. this. I, I would definitely take this back to my social media and uh, and and pass it on to uh, to the drivers that I come across. You know, like I said, I am real good in getting people interested in uh, in the places okay. like that. If you like, you can if you like, you could send me uh, an email or something like that, that that you you know if you want to send me would would you like to do that yeah do you want me to send you just like information about our over the road fleet yeah yeah that's perfect you know okay. give me something to awesome. just give me something to leave in the in the uh in the um in the what do you call it um and you want if anybody should call would would you want them to call you directly um, yeah, this 800 number is the recruiting line. Oh, okay. So, um, so anybody, this, yeah. in anybody there, not, yeah. Uh, oh, okay. All right, cool. Awesome. Yeah. What, uh, my email is, you ready? Yep. All right. My email is. Did you say men, M-E-N? Yeah, men, M-E-N. Okay. Like Perfect. two and a half men. Gotcha. <laughs> um, okay. At gmail.com. I will send that over. Got it. Okay. I will send that over right now. Um, if you have any other questions or anything, just feel free to give me a call, okay? Hell, everybody. Hell, hell, everybody. <laughs> All right. Family owned since 1949. What do you guys think about that call right there, man? That was a, that was a pretty good call. And what, what really touched me the most was the referral program. So you guys know how I do it, right? You know, I, I can, you know, I, 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 I pass the information along to you guys. I mean, I kind of wish that I did work there because of, you know, the, if, if I was doing it sorely for the referral program, then I think I would jump on with this company just sorely for the referral program. $250 per driver. And you get one cent for every mile that they drive. Man, listen, come on. Three, you know, like maybe two, two drivers at a time, two drivers a month. And they, they do about 10,000 miles. Yeah. Money never sleeps, pal. Just made 800,000 Hong Kong gold. Spin one cent. Come on, bro. That, that paycheck will be looking lovely. I'm talking lovely, but, but they got to, they, she did say that when they start to drive. So if they there for three months, six months, seven months, we still, the person that referred them would bring them on. I mean, they, they would get it. So what do you guys think about that? Now, I, I think that part right there, you know, shouldn't be an incentive to come on and drive with the company. Uh, so far, the driver, the, the driver, the fleet manner ratio, she says, is about 30. It could be less. One thing for sure, you got to have a good rapport with your fleet manager. If you don't have that, then it's not going to be good i'm just saying it's not going to be good at all if you don't have that rapport if you don't have that 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 camaraderie if you don't have a fleet manager that's going to get you to 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 the money then it's not going to be good force dispatch of course they don't want you to refuse loads but you can request not to go into a certain area northeast but they don't want you to refuse the load, so you got to keep that in mind. Uh, dry, uh, uh, no touch freight at all, 100%. They pay for all lumpers, and by the sounds of it, they don't have the dollar accounts, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, pet rider, cool, $250, cool, done. Uh, your pet got to be vaccinated, got to make sure you have all his shots. Um, 
What else? Some key moments there. Key, uh, some key moments. Uh, like I said, the 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 referral pro the referral program. That's that's big key right there. That's big key. Um, they just started a new driver package, so they start you off with two years verifiable experience. So they don't. So if you do they do they check the DOT? They, I mean DOT. Do they check your DAC report? Do they? You know, but they don't want to see no more than sits in a three-year period. And she did explain that she's looking for longevity. When you start seeing drivers that's job hopping all over the place, and as I explained to her, I said, we're truck drivers. We're, we're trying, you know, what you telling me is all gravy and good, but then when I get in with the company and start driving with them for a while, then it's not all that roses and it's time for me to bounce. Me, I, I would say to give any company at least 90 days, at least three months. You know, the first, the first couple of months or the first month is like, it's like you're getting married. Second month is the honeymoon. And the third month is if you and them is actually going to get along. If y'all could get along after the third month, then everything is all gravy. You know, it's it's a it's a balance between you and the company. Not all companies is 100. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Well, again, hell, family owned since 1949. They located out of Iowa. Their contact number is recruiting is 800-973-9166. They have the main terminal is in Iowa, which is yeah, which is Iowa. They got terminals in Florida, North Dakota, Texas, and Alberta something. Looks like it's up in the up in Canada somewhere. Hail transportation. Uh what do you guys think? I pass along the information. You guys like it? Give them a call and see if hell transportation would work for you. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this episode of Lockout Man Podcast. Thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. Thank you for listening. If you're listening on all of the podcast uh, platforms, yo, if you like content like this and more, boom, you already know what to do. Hit that like button. That's that's basically what I care about. And if Hale is a company that you think that somebody that you know may like, pass this video on to them. All right. This is the MTC edition. If you have any requests for a company to be spotlighted, please let me know. And I will, and I will spotlight that company for you. Get the, uh, get the request in to the comments below or the Gmail or the, or the IG. That's IG at Lockout Men, and the Gmail is LockoutMenPodcast at gmail.com. That's going to do it. Thank you to the subscriber for subscribe. Uh, thank you to the subscriber for uh, requesting this call, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. If you do, give it a like. If it works, give it a like. That's all I ask for. Thank you very much, guys. Y'all take it easy. And I will come back at you with another Lockout Man podcast. You guys have a blessed day. Peace. Little. <laughs>《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》